Hi, and welcome to the Stage 6 review. In Stage 6, we met the third person singular and plural of the imperfect and perfect tenses of regular verbs, and we met the third person singular and plural of the imperfect of the irregular verb to be. By the end of Stage 6, you should understand the difference between the two past tenses, the imperfect, kind of like a movie of past time, and the perfect, more like a snapshot of pastime. You should recognize the bot and bont endings as imperfect endings for regular verbs. You should know the imperfect forms erat and errant of the irregular verb to be. You should know to translate imperfect verbs was or were blanking. And you should be able to fill out the following charts for the third person imperfect tense of regular verbs like porto and the irregular verb to be. So first, the imperfect of regular verbs. In the third person singular, they end in bot. In the third person plural, they end in bont. So porta bot, he or she or it was carrying. Porta bont, they were carrying. Now the imperfect of the irregular verb to be, erat, third person singular, he was being or he was, erant, they were being or just they were. You should also know that perfect tense verbs use a different stem. You should recognize the it and erant endings of perfect tense verbs. You should translate perfect tense verbs blanked. And you should be able to fill out the following chart for the third person perfect tense of regular verbs, like porto. All right, so I said the perfect tense uses a different stem. And in stage six, all the perfect tense verbs, you have a stem that ends in V. But that's part of the stem. That's not part of the ending. So here's the stem, porta, and here's the ending, it. Here's the stem, porta, here's the end, ending, erant. So the third person singular ending is it with that special perfect stem. The third person plural ending is erant again with that special perfect stem. So porta wit. He or she or it carried, porta weirant, they carried. And as always, you should know all the words in the vocab checklist, both from Latin to English and from English to Latin. Remember, they're there at the back of the stage in your textbook, and they're also available on Quizlet.